Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 28th of 2021, well, it is titled the Aurora Tree. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken in Iceland in March of 2017, about four years ago. And what it's showing is a tree in the foreground. But interestingly, just the positioning makes it appear that the aurora, the greenish glow and red glow that we see here, seem to be coming from the branches of the tree. Now, in reality, it's just a coincidence of where the photographer happened to be standing when the picture was captured. So it really, of course, has nothing to do with the tree. The aurora itself is caused by charged particles from the sun, electrons primarily, that strike the Earth's magnetic field and move along that magnetic field line, striking the Earth's atmosphere up over 100 miles. So over 100 miles up in the atmosphere, strike the atoms up there and cause them to glow. And one of the primary uh, colors that we see is the green color here. And the green color is caused by individual oxygen atoms which have been excited. So when one of those electrons strikes an oxygen atom, now that's not an oxygen molecule like we breathe, which is two oxygen atoms together, just a single oxygen atom. When that is struck, then we have some an image then we have something happen like this and in fact when many billions of them are struck we get this very distinct glow in the sky now the glow is not a cloud we can see clouds down below closer to the horizon here and we can see that they block out the stars completely you don't see stars through the clouds when you look at the aurora you can actually see stars through the aurora and except at the very brightest parts where the sky brightens so much that even the brighter stars are blocked out you can definitely see stars and groupings of stars within the aurora itself and that's because it is just a glowing of the atmosphere sphere and not anything not actually a cloud or object within the sky that is blocking out light from behind it. Now the aurora, when we see aurora, it tends to mean that the more we see them, the more active the sun is. When the sun is more active and energetic, it sends out more charged particles, giving us stronger aurora that are visible. The different colors that we, we see in the aurora have to do with the different molecules and atoms that are struck in the upper atmosphere. And the shapes, of course, are completely random, although our minds will try to put some kind of pattern to that randomness that also often gives us patterns that we see in the aurora, much as we often see them in clouds. So that was our picture of the day for February the 28th of 2021. It was titled The Aurora Tree. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be interstellar fowl. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.